Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to write a small Java program using require non null from objects class. Usually in Java programming, we'll be using some objects and we'll be checking for null. If it's null, then throw an illegal argument exception. If it's not null, then do the business logic. So the entire application will have this cluttered code. We have to use this if check everywhere in the code. To avoid this doing by ourselves, in Java 8, they provided a solution in objects class. Java util objects contains three different methods require non null. It takes the object and if it's null, it will throw a null point exception. And we can also provide our custom message and we can also provide a supplier, meaning we can pass a lambda. Let's see the example code now. I've written a class called request non null and there is a variable which is assigned to null username. And I'm going to pass this username to require non null method and I'm going to give a, a custom message. Let's see the method here. If I go inside this method, you can see it takes the object do the null check and throw the null point exception. So they take care of checking for null and we can also pass our custom message. So if I go inside this, they take the message and then pass it to null point exception. And then finally, they take a lambda, a supplier. So if I go inside this require non null, you can see here, they take a supplier. When I say supplier, it's a lambda. So we can see what is a supplier. It's a functional interface. That means it's a lambda. So when I run this program, I'm able to get the null point exception because the username is null. So I'll be getting a null point exception. And with the message, username cannot be null. The custom message that we pass. What I like in this API is it looks simple and, and makes my program more readable. Hope this small information is useful. Thank you.